In this video guide, I will explain how to get rid of Bing from Safari browser. When we open Safari browser, we suddenly notice that its home page is now changed to a searchmine.net, also known as the smart search. And when we submit some search query, for example, iPhone or any other search query, we notice that the results are delivered by Bing. Even though Bing is a decent search provider by Microsoft, the problem is that it was not our intention to use uh, Bing. Well, if you are satisfied with Bing results, then uh, let it be. But the problem is that uh, people very often are accustomed to Google search. However, no matter how many times they look for uh, information through their Safari, uh, they still see the results to be delivered by a Bing search provider. Now, recently uh, I had a question on um, my uh, video commentaries. Uh, one guy asked me how to get rid of Bing from Safari browser. Well, you may clearly notice that there is a problem with this search mine.net browser hijacker in the home page. So I will give you some principles how to get rid of uh, this search mine and also how to remove the Bing uh, from Safari. First of all, go to the system preferences of your Mac and look at this profiles uh, icon. Click on it and you will notice that some uh, some third-party profiles were installed into uh, Safari and Chrome. And that's uh, primarily the uh, main reason of this Bing redirection. So you need to get rid of these profiles. Let's uh, remove them and you will need to provide your password for that purpose. So we have removed Bing from Chrome and now it's time to remove um, this profile from Safari browser. Uh, finally, we may um, restart Safari. And now let's start it again. Uh, even though we may still, still see this search mine in place and the problem may still happen. If this is the case, um, I recommend that you go to the uh, Safari Preferences and look at this general tab. If it is uh, on google.com, then the problem surely is much deeper. I recommend that you um, scan your uh, Mac computer with a Combo Cleaner antivirus, which you may get on the official website combocleaner.com combocleaner.com Download the application and start it from the launchpad. This is the way the program looks like. Combo Cleaner Premium in my case, but in your case it will be in the trial mode. Click on Start Combo Scan button and Combo Cleaner trial should uh, report other problems that might be in place, including the issues that cause uh, being uh, hijacking and at the end of scan you will see a detailed report about the situation with your Mac. This is the end of scanning by Combo Cleaner and Tavars. As you see, uh, so far 28 threads were found in our computer. Now, if you click on Review Results, you'll be able to see the detailed description of each thread and, by the way, uh, their location will also be uh, provided. So what you can do is uh, go to the um, applications area of your Mac and uh, look for suspicious software and right click on it and move it to the trash. Also you may go to the exact location of each thread and delete one thread at a time and this will be manual removal of threads. Or you may remove all these threads automatically, however, with the premium license of the program.